Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We've got an art bag here, an art bag, mm -hmm. and hard to pronounce, but we've been given by Aquavitae the secret. Trey Van. Trey Van. 19 year old art bag, and we're gonna test it! Heat it! Style, baby. Some art bag yumminess. Ooh, I style. can smell it now. I can smell it. We're in. 0.208, by the way. 209. Am I a little bit so, excited? I'm going to preface here. <laughs> You're like, so yeah, this is a newer release. It is. This, I had said we're not going to pick up because it's too expensive. Right. We actually got a good deal on it. We did. Which, so it was the only reason really we picked it up. So, which I, we'll talk about later. I like the way you talk. But let's get I into like it. The way you talk. We're going to get into it. Uh, First of all, 19, it's Ardbeg. 19 year Ardbeg. Now, what I noticed on the front, so we poured. Just a little bit ago, let it get a little bit of air. It smelled it. So this is 19-year-old Ardbeg, but I noticed on the front that it goes through, it's got 46.2%. It's got a lengthy batch number code on here. Distillery manager, Mickey Heads. It's non-chill filtered. Um, it's been uh, matured in American oak and Oloroso sherry casks, which I didn't realize. Right up your alley. And it also has that it was bottled hmm. during a storm. It says it right there. <laughs> Bottled during a storm. It was bottled Most during people a might storm. put the date on there that it's sure, bottled. But instead, it was uh -huh. bottled during a storm. Yep. That's it. I'm going to hold them to that. We're going to check and see. Yeah, we're going to call it Jackie. Mm -hmm. Jackie, well, is there I'm a storm going on? She'll be like, vicious. vicious I'm going to confirm that this was bottled during a storm. <laughs> That's not, not just sure marketing. That. Jackie will tell us. <laughs> Jackie will be like, well, this is we storm. It's a we storm. <laughs> Must have been a good storm. Oh my! Are these the little dog footprints on here too? The little yep. what's his yeah, name? Yeah, he's on there. Is he? Oh, there he is. He's well, over here. Digging too. a hole. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's in there. <laughs> oh yeah, Shorty. I love that dog. What a one. Uh, okay, so <laughs> what were most people saying? know you're the Pete head. It took me a while to get into Pete. You did. Well, it I took appreciate me a while to get into it. I the mean, note. I didn't, the nose on this is beautiful. It is. I didn't go Pete right off the bat. Matter of fact, I was scared off by a 16-year-old Lagavulin. And you ushered me back in with a compass box Pete monster. And boy, how did that jump start me into the Pete? I was on a hunt. I bought everything Pete I could get a hold of. And nothing could quench my Pete thirst. Rich, earthy, <laughs> peatiness, sweetness. Dude, you were going to call I got BS on that one. Smoked ham and pineapples. It's a, gr it's a grill on the beach late at night. What are you channeling me? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what this nose is bringing. I would not disagree your, with any of the words you're saying. I'm just stunned. Just picture tanned bodies around the campfire, smothered in coconut oil. Or not uh, around the campfire. Sunscreen lotion. I might have gone for a walk. Smoking ham and <laughs> pineapples. Whew. Now I had a sample of this when we were in the um, in the lobby of the La Quinta for the Bastards Ball. So right. uh, there was a bottle of it there. I had a small sample of it. That pineapple that was a long, is great. Yeah. yeah, that jumped right out at me. Just it like does. smoked grilled pineapple. You're right. It's like it's on a kebab. Yeah with ham and coconut toned bodies on the same kebab. Keep saying bodies. <laughs> bodies. Huh. The pineapple's nice. huge there, though. You're right. That's not normal. All right. I'm going to get a, uh, you'll get a touch. It's a touch of that faint hard baked Band-Aid that's way in the back there. But Ooh. boy, does that citrus pineapple jump out at you. What you got? Smoky pineapple, chili chocolate, and aromatic wood smoke. Are you serious? Yeah, 46.2%. I don't know if I can get the chocolate, but boy, the yeah. pineapple's all mm -hmm. over that mm -hmm. thing, boy. Mm -hmm. Wow. 46.2% if we didn't say, I think we did. All right, that's bizarre, though. How Small batch. Do they I'm going in. Pineapple in there. That's amazing. Hmm. Well, I can 
think of as copper-toned bodies. Mm. <sighs> Preach it. I was going to let you keep this bottle, but I might have to fight <laughs> you for it. That's pretty good. Um, real good. Peat, earth, sweetness. Mm. Mm. It's showing that 19 years or two. It is, it is mellowed out, so it's, it's really... Smooth and rich. It's not really that ten-year-old art bag. No peat slap. That's opened up a little bit since I've uh, tried it out there at La Quinta too. Mm -hmm. I get a little, uh, a little bit of, of um, oddly enough, a little bit of peanuts, a little bit of fireside, kind of smoldering wood. And the finish is long and tobacco more what you'd expect from the art bag. It's the open that is. Unique and different. Let me pop back in. So oh, this would be very. This would pair well with a cigar. Matter of fact, almost cigar tobacco uh, leaf wrapper. Mm. Um, you know, it's a. It does say Oloroso sherry finish. I'm not necessarily getting. It's not jumping out at me that Oloroso uh -uh. sherry. It maybe it has a slight influence in some of the um, the sweetness, which I would. Okay, if you didn't have that sherry. You, there'd be a lot more kind of vanilla in those things that like that Lagavulin uh, 12 year, the 2017 edition, the, the, the vanillas that came out. Of course, it was just ex bourbon cask. This tastes so, to me like some of the cigars that, mm -hmm. that you have smell. Because mm -hmm. I don't smoke cigars, but you'll break them out and they smell good. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it almost has like tobacco leaf. Mm -hmm. But would this really pair well? It seems this mm -hmm. seems more delicate. Wouldn't a cigar overpower that? Because it seems a little more delicate and almost in too much sync with that. Because I get total cigar tobacco leaf. Hmm. Hmm. Searching for it, it's it is um, sweeter. There's not as much vanilla as if it was just ex bourbon cast. So I think that sherry is playing uh, a factor, just not a lot. One drop. And maybe yes. Maybe it'll come out in time as the bottle oxidizes. Right. Um, right now, it's not necessarily a rear in its head too much. Wow. Yeah. The finish is still that smoldering earthy wood. Smoked peanuts, I just got. Yeah. That pineapple. Some of the tropical fruit. See, I don't know if I picked that up on the mouth as on the palate as much as I do on the nose. The nose more, it's all over the place. Yeah, more on the nose. Just a hint on the palate that's coming through in the in the sweetness. The nose is one of the more surprising art bags I've had. I mean, it makes me want to just sit. Uh, uh, this is another one where I can nose it, nose it, nose it. It's but it's pineapple all over the place. Wow. No uh, noticeable difference with the drop of water right now. 46.2%. So I think I almost like it better neat than with the drop that. of water. But still good. Still delicious. Yeah. So for peat heads, it's got those peat touches you're going to be looking for. It's not as peaty in the finish as I expected it to be. The art bags will give me a lot of the tobaccos, and I get more of that first tobacco cigar leaf at the beginning. But in the finish, it's more of that dry, smoked, earthy wood. And the peanut flavors linger around. Now, I know we're going to score it here in a little bit. But I can't remember what the purchase price is. So again, I would actually, I think this might be approachable. It's a little bit lighter on the peat than I thought it would be. But at 19 years, you can almost expect that. The peat's mm -hmm. going to be softened out a little bit. It is. Maybe it's the storm. <laughs> Maybe the storm brought in the pineapple. I think the 19 years, I was just making it really so well kind of married together. 
Yeah. Uh, the 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 oak influence and the age of the whiskey toning down the peat really bring it together really nice, really rounded. Yes. Um, rich. It's, the peat's not going to slap you around. No. No. And that's fine. That's, but it's very, I mean, it's very present. Yeah, it's not, it's not like it's gone. It's not like it's subtle. Mm. The nose here is still the most impressive thing for me. I'm telling you, the nose stuns me. Mm. I get a touch of the Band-Aid, but other than that, it's citrus, it's pineapple. Wow. It just feels like it should be sweeter. But then it's all hard bag on the taste with the peanuts. Okay, the sherry is coming around. It's really? definitely, yeah, the sweetness now is coming out. It's, it's darker. Um, you're losing that. The the vanillas and that more tropical, lighter uh, sweetness is now morphing into a darker, richer, mm. thicker sweetness with that smoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get a little bit of dry ash. Mm -hmm. I'm 89. Debating, I'm debating my score. 89 is mine. Hmm. 89. That's yeah. pretty low. Yeah, well. For a, for a hard bag. It just doesn't hit me on that. You know what, though? I'm a cheap peat head. Um, it's well married. It's, it's good. I love the nose. It's a little bit astringent on yeah. the finish. I'm going 91 with it. I was debating a 92. It's good. I like it. I and would maybe like... maybe I'm factoring price a little bit to my score. If you didn't know the price or know this was maybe I'd score it higher. I can't even remember the price. For the money, I expected a little bit more, but it's still good. So Retail on this, you're gonna you're gonna pay close to three hundred dollars. It's like two eighty to three hundred. We got it for two twenty, which was the only reason. I was like, okay, that's more. That's yeah, I don't reasonable. think we were gonna get it at all. I'm gonna tell you again, and that's not. I didn't even remember it being that high. I think I closed my eyes when we bought it. <laughs> <laughs> we did buy it with the dummy funds. Um. I mean, it's hard, big. It's good. Um, no, I'm gonna go. I'm going 92. I'm. I think I'm taking price and then looking at it overall on, on my palate, smoke and sweetness, and the 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 sherry is starting to play a factor now. Maybe with the air or the water, it's definitely coming in a much darker sweetness with the peat. It's very nice. If you're, this is. Only for the peat heads. If you're a peat head, I'm going to say again, the Ardbeg standard releases that are extremely affordable, I think will give you more bang, a lot more bang for your buck than this. If you're an aficionado and you got to have everything Ardbeg, it's got some things going on, but I got to tell you, uh, if you laid this head to head against the ten, I think I'd pick the ten. If you put it against the Oogie and the Corey Vrecken, I think I'm picking the Corey Vrecken and the Oogie. I know it's not the Oogie. I like to call it the Oogie though. No, it's Oogie. Oh, I thought I had it wrong. He gave me a look. Oogie doll though. Isn't what it? are Oogie we doll or Oogie doll? Dale? Oogie Dale. That's We're doll. Wrong. Da it's doll. Dale. It's doll. No, I'm Oogie confused. doll. Doogie doll. I don't know. We always I think it's wrong. the doll. We used to say Oogie Dale. I like, always dolls, picture Roy. Oogie doll. I picture Roy Aquavita playing getting, with a little doll. People are getting triggered right now, but you can. <laughs> there's some people get. How do they not know? When you mispronounce it. How do they not know? Again, Art picture eggs. Roy playing with a little doll. That's all I'm saying. You know, so let's go to that. Well, generally our Saturdays are a Scotch God shout out. We kind of have a Scotch God shout out and a traveling dummy we combined do. here. John Knox. Look at that shirt. Uh, he's in Ann Arbor, Michigan. With the Ardbeg bus. I have not seen the bus. Have you? Uh, hi, Scott. Just wanted to share. See, he just says me. He doesn't say you. Hi, oh. Scott. Just wanted to share that I visited the Ardbeg bus in Ann Arbor, Michigan a couple of weeks ago. Proudly wore my Love the Pete sweatshirt and so, held up 
my Cask 5 coin. That's because he and I are already soulmates. Wishing you and Bart the best, John <laughs> Knox. Yeah, and he's got, that's the fact is, that's our first edition it of is. the Pete. Because uh, of that, I went with our other big seller of the first edition. Yeah, we sold like two of those. Mm, 2,000. <laughs> like two. Scotch it, you Scotch guns. But I like the way it shouts it. It's yeah. like shouting it. Look at that. Hmm. But yeah, the, the uh, Love the Pete was another good one. Original, and boom. <laughs> we sold mm. like two of mm. those. <laughs> That's a good cool nose. Bus, it's got a little junction in the middle. Doesn't good, it? good nose, what is good that? palate, oh, no, it's a bottle, and good finish. Who drives that around? Whose job is it to drive the Ardbeg, the Ardbeg bus, bus? We should be on the bus. The ult ultimate Ardbeg escape. I don't know about the escape. So we got a Patreon shout out to do. Do it. Uh, do do do. Well, it's Gretchen and Josh. Yes. Gretchen and Josh Galladay. Thank you. $3 supporter on Patreon. Nice. We got a shout their name. Should we do oh, it yeah. Josh and Gretchen oh, or Gretchen and Josh? I think it's Gretchen and Josh. I think it's Gretchen and Josh. I think we just say, and just first names. Or how about the Galladays? Ooh, that's a better way to go. So let's do it. Okay. The, the Galladays! Galladays! Woohoo! All lumped in, wrapped together. <laughs> They're together. Now, uh, Gretchen and Josh, if you want, send us a picture together. Fully clothed. We'll give you another shout out. We always say you at least got to have the pickle covered. Well, you got to have the pickle covered. Whatever the pickle and may be. And then translate if that. If you want that. Gretchen. Yeah. Well, no, I think True. it still could be pickle. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. Actually, nobody's been sending us a picture with the... Yeah. They haven't. So... Anything else you want to add in? No. Uh, thanks, everybody, for their support on Patreon. It's our uh, bread and butter, as we like to say. Sure. You can go to scotchtestdummies.com and pick up uh, any of our merchandise. Merch. It all helps it all there. support the show. I don't want to let you know we filmed this during a storm. <laughs> <laughs> scotch it. You scotch guys. It's the launch of Dummies. dummies.